are Hebrew Israelites. We come out here every Sunday to prophesy the downfall of America. And to tell you Negro, Latinos, Native American Indians that you're a true Hebrew Israelite. Okay, you're not a Mexican, you're not a wetback, you're not an American. Biblically, you're a Hebrew Israelite, okay? You can, you're brought here to serve slavery. For all you, you boneheaded Mexicans and Latinos, Negroes that don't think you were here, that you're here just to have a good time. All right? And until 2.30, you Negro Latinos, you're about to die here in America, man. Okay? Because you don't believe in the true power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You believe in that white Jesus, man. The white man, Esau. Okay? And to tell you Edomites, so-called white man, you're the devil according to the Bible, man. You're the adversary to all humanity. Okay? So we're gonna get into the scriptures to warn you people. All right, matter of fact, before you get that one, get where it says set the alarm. And what, uh, what is that in uh, Amos 2? Amos chapter two, I believe. It says set the alarm, put the trumpet up to that mouth. Because we're, we're at that time, man. Regardless if you believe it or not, we're at that time of destruction. When all hell's about to break loose. Well, you the trumpet? Yeah. Uh, Joe? Yeah. Joe tapping. Yeah. Oh, this is Joe. All right, you done, you done speaking? Uh, Joe, two and one. Blow you the trumpet in Zion. All right, blow you the trumpet in Zion, man. Talking about speak to, the, to my people. Who are the Lord's people? You Israelites, man. You Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. All right? But y'all rather be called a, a Mexican, a nigger, right? An African American, a Puerto Rican. Those are all by words that the white man gave y'all, man. And it's, it's prophesied in the scriptures that you're gonna be called by another name. Go ahead. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm. Right, my... and sound the alarm. What's an alarm do? No, thank you. No, thank you, we're good. What does an alarm do? It, it alerts you, man. It warns you about a trouble, right? For example, if you don't understand what I'm saying, every goddamn person in this place might, might have a, a fire alarm in their home to let them know if smoke or a fire is out, is, is occurring in your home, that smoke will hit that uh, uh, alarm system and it starts beeping off. And what do you do? You react. Right? That's what the Most High told the, the, the prophets to go out into the highways and the byways and tell their people. Because destruction is about to come. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. Because it's nigh at hand. The day of the Lord is a nigh at hand. So why would it say, set the alarm? That means to warn you people. For, because all you people, y'all think that uh, who the world ignorantly called Jesus is coming back to, uh, uh, to smile upon you, to receive you with open arms. Why would he tell you that? Why would he tell his, the men of the Lord to come do that? Because the reason he's telling us is because destruction, he's gonna bring destruction, man. He ain't bringing nothing else. Even, even the elect have to face all those perils, man. For all you people that think you're gonna be delivered under that doctrine, the rapture, man. Where you're not gonna see tribulation. Oh, you're gonna see it. Just like Jeremiah saw it, Daniel saw it, Isaiah saw it, John saw it, all the apostles saw it. Weren't they martyred? Weren't, weren't, weren't they martyrs for, for Yahweh Shai? Why weren't they taken and, and put in a safe place? Because it's part of being purified. It's part of being in the truth. Y'all people are, mi are miserably mistaken, man. 
and it's gonna be to your destruction because y'all believe in these false pastors, man. You believe in your grandma and your daddy that think they're holy? The scriptures say, uh, get a Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea uh, 4 and 6. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Y'all gonna be destroyed because y'all lack knowledge. Y'all don't know Yahweh Shai, man. Because if you knew how austere he was, y'all would get right. And because he don't work a, 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 a speedy riddance or a judgment upon you, you think you're good hands, man. You think you're, you're exempt. That your, uh, uh, your sin was uh, 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 pacified or sufficed or diminished. It's not. The most sides is allowing you to get away with it. And if you're the elect, you're going to get right. But if you're not, you're going to keep pushing your sin back far behind in your mind and your heart and continue in the same path, man. A lot of you people are going to be destroyed, man. All the shit y'all do right now, y'all making all this money in the oil field, you're going to be, you're going to get killed, man. That's something your, your fake ass pastors ain't telling y'all in the church. But yet you left them men up. Y'all don't lift, y'all, we ain't even trying to, I'm just saying, y'all don't even, y'all don't lift us up. Y'all ain't now, y'all don't look at, y'all don't look at us for good. If we were to die right now, you'd be like, man, they deserve to die. If one of your fake ass pastors died, y'all be at their funeral mourning from them wicked ass false pastors, man. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. The most side's gonna reject you, man. Because you lack knowledge. You don't know the Bible like you think you know it, man. That's not that's why now not many of you people can come up here and, and uh debate with us. And when you do, you, we, we look at you like y'all are dumbass idiots, man. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah, y'all may know. Y'all know, y'all may know and be able to paraphrase scriptures, but y'all don't have the understanding though. Y'all don't got the proper breakdowns. You fake ass pastors think y'all, everybody can be saved. Y'all don't understand that it's the, uh, the salvation is only for the Israelites and that the Israelites are Gentiles that had uh, the Gentile state of mind. You think it's talking about the, uh, the uh, y'all, you think it's talking about y'all being the Gentiles, which is true. But really, the Gentiles that uh, Paul went to speak to were the Is were Israelites, man. They weren't the heathen, the Edomites, the Egyptians, the Ishmaelites. Yeah, Israelites that were called Ishmaelites. Yeah, Israelites that were called Egyptians. Yeah, Israelites that were called uh, uh, Greeks. Romans, Italians, because uh, what's his name? Cornelius, he was part of the Italian band, which is Romans uh, in, in, in Rome. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I, I will also forget thy children. Right, because you forgot the law of the Mosai. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which is able to bring you into the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is to increase you. But y'all people don't go by, y'all don't even go by that, man. This whole land America don't even go by that. America tells you to go uh, based on your feeling. If, you're, if it feels good, do it. What does your heart tell you? They don't say, hey man, if I were you, I would go find the answer in the Bible. If I were you, I would go talk to those two men on Martin Luther King Street because they're telling y'all the truth, man. America don't tell you that. It says, uh, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. 
Therefore, will I change their glory into shame. Right, now he's going to change your glory into shame, man. Huh? Because the whole, not only is San Angelo, it's everywhere. San Angelo is just rising up. It's a, 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 a late bloomer or, you know, you know, a, a, a little, uh, yeah. a, a, you know, a late bloomer. But it's getting to the level of pride. A San Angelo is getting to the level of pride that the Mosiah is about to wreak havoc on this fucking place, man. There, this place is gonna be annihilated because it's so damn wicked, man. All those brothers, man, the four corners of the earth, we all know that America's wicked, period. But us brothers, we live in this city, man. We live in this whole great city, which is called America. But this city that we live in, San Angelo, has, has grown exceedingly proud, man. Uh, and real quick, man, just to put it out there, me and his brother, man, just the other couple of days, just going on recently, a couple of days, man, we've been talking about, you know, when we were younger, like me and his brother right here, man, all we wanted to do was be here. You know, we wanted to, uh, uh, well, be, because I'm not from here. You know, I moved up here, but the point is, when I was younger, I always dreamed of moving to San Angelo because it was peaceful. I knew it was supposed to be a retirement city. My grandparents lived, my step grandparents lived up here. You know, it was a good place to live, you know, just to uh, live. But when I came up here, man, hoping to get a better place, a better life, my mind started slowly turning to the point where I didn't want to be here no more. Now it's to the point, we already know, man, like the brother said, we live here. We know now that we don't want to live in this place. We, we, we tell each other, man, we hate this fucking place, man, because it, like the brother said, it's exceedingly wicked. And the brother brought it out the, the other day that, um, you know, there's there's a reason, man, that us, me and his brother are in this uh, particular city because it's so it's got so wicked. And it, it, it was coincidence, man, that you know, like uh, that report about the the West Texas Reservoir happened. You know, you have all these fires happening. You know, you got uh, the oil boom happening. It's not just coincidence that these things are happening, and me and his brother are out here. This place has gotten proud. And the most I like the brother says, you know, eradicate this place. Because like, like I was saying, man, it was at one point in time, we wanted to live here. We actually thought it would be nice to live here. But then now we but now man, we, we hate this place. No we, matter it don't matter where we go, man. Yeah. Just because we hate it now, we hate San Angelo, we can move this to Austin. But we already know Austin's fucking wicked too. Dallas is fucking wicked, man. Everywhere is wicked. You know, like the brother saying, it's true. But not only that, the scriptures open our eyes to see all this. And I want to get this. This is Hebrews 11 and 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have received for an inheritance, obeyed. Just like all of us brothers, man. We, the most I woke us up for some reason because we know we're not worthy, man. We all deserve to fucking die here. We all deserve to die because we all went off. We're nothing. And we still we still go off. But that doesn't mean we gotta stop. We gotta keep fighting, man. Just like Abraham, the father of nations, man. The, ten, the 12 tribes of Israel. Was the 12 tribes of Israel were just scattered to the four corners of the earth. That's how he makes it the father of nations. He obeyed Yahweh. And it says, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. And that's what us brothers are looking for. Not this raggedy, raggedy ass city. This raggedy ass city called America. Now their shame, their glory is going to be changed into shame, man. You Edomites, you, you know your, um, your America's crumbling, man. You know it's falling. It's like Rome fell. It's like the scriptures tell you in Revelation Babylon has fallen, man. has fallen. It's, 
We don't want this down place, man. We hate it here. Oh, what's that one where it says that it was kind of until Abraham's righteousness? It's like Romans or is it Hebrews in that uh, chapter? It said that it was people uh, unto him with righteousness. Uh, is it Abraham or are you talking about? Yeah, it was uh, Abraham. Enoch. James chapter 2 verse 23 and the scripture and the scripture was fulfilled which saith, Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of Yahweh right because we already know the scriptures say that uh, he that he that doeth what I or he that does what I command him to do he shall be counted as a friend all right because and like, that's what the brother just brought out uh, because of, because Abraham obeyed the Most High, it was righteousness. All right, and, and like the scriptures even said, man, before, if you read about Abraham's uh, small history before it, he came out of that land of um, um, what land did he come out again? The land of the Chaldeans. The land of the Chaldeans. Uh, it was telling you what his father was doing and what his people were doing. They were worshiping other gods, you know. But the Most High pulled him out, a, a chosen man. And what did Abraham do? He didn't say, uh, he didn't say, no, I believe this is this is the right land, you know? Or this is this is the the the, the, the paradise. Yeah. You know? Abraham did, did what he was told. And he didn't say nothing back. He didn't say nothing back, right? As far as like, well, uh, I don't believe what you're saying, uh, God, you know? But uh, yeah, Abraham did what he was told and, it, and he he continued to do it. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't let his mind. Uh, get a hold of him and start going for all this, all that shit that was out there. Uh, gold, uh, uh, idols. You know, he obeyed the Most High. Yeah, just basically leaving on, leaving, leaving your house, just leaving them, and then going about his own way. Right, man. He, he did, man. He, Abraham, he got up. He, he just, he, he went. And the thing was too is uh, he had, he had faith. Y'all people, y'all don't have faith. Y'all don't believe it. They don't believe in anything because y'all, if y'all did, like the brother said, y'all be giving yourselves right. But y'all out here today doing whatever y'all do, your normal schedule, buying pork, pork chopping pig's feet, you know, doing whatever y'all do. Y'all don't, don't have faith. Y'all don't obey what the most High says. That's why the, that's why the scripture in Hosea said you're going to be destroyed. I'm going to read this. Hebrews 11 and 13. These all died in faith. Not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. Right, you know, and another thing too is we, we tell you everything plainly. We, we come, me and this brother, man, we come out here, all the brothers come out here plainly showing you the mystery of the, of the gospel. Plainly, and y'all people still don't want to gravitate to it. But the point about the other men that did gravitate to it and, oh, and uh, believed, they have faith and they continue not knowing, not, not getting their inheritance. Yeah, not receiving it right in their lifetime. They, 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 they believed, they strive to the truth till death. But like, you know, 